Hello and happy coronavirus free Friday the 13th people. It's not every day we get to say something like that, you know? Anyway, today I want to talk about street photography. It's a little bit of a touchy subject uh, amongst photographers, people in that community. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit. And I also want to discuss a little bit the difference between street photography and getting your friends to dress up in nice clothes and going out to pose on a street corner, you know, at a particular time there. That's a different thing. Is it still street photography? Yeah, depending on who do you, who you ask, sure. Um, but there's a difference. Like, if you go out there raw and you just camped out on a part, you know, a corner somewhere on a stoop, and you're just shooting people that don't suspect it, like across the street. That's what I, that's what I call street photography. It's uh, it's not pretentious. It's not posed. You know, there's no acting going on. In other words, it's just raw. What you see is what you get. Anyway. Here's some uh, still pictures, check them out. And uh, tell me if you think it's paparazzi, stalkerish shit, or straight up photography is not a crime. And that there's no expectation of privacy in public, especially with cameras mounted on buildings everywhere. And well, geez, you know, facial recognition. I don't use facial recognition. Uh, I'm not looking to find out, you know, who anybody is or anything. I don't, you know, want to know any of that bullshit, but Unless I come up and say hi to you. That's the other thing. Some of the pictures I take, obviously you can tell, I've asked. You know, I've asked people flat out, geez, you're, you know, you guys look great together, whatever. Look, can, do you mind if I, you know, and give me your email. I send, I'll process the pictures. I shoot them raw. You know, I pro, I'll wipe a few off and send them to them in, in the email for free. You know, and just, you know, share the love, pay it forward, whatever, but... And then, uh, you know, I don't make money on YouTube. I'm not here for that. And I explain that to people sometimes. Other times, like I said, I just shoot in the wall. I don't ask. I just take. And uh, that can lead to some conflicts, as you'll see. You'll see some of the looks that I get in some of the uh, pictures that I'll post here. But uh, check it out. And the way things are going on around here this weekend, I mean, geez, I could barely get any uh, dog or cat food today let alone any uh, rice or beans or anything like that. I'm glad I stocked up, up on that previously. I was curious and poked my head into a few. So anyway, everything's canceled this weekend. All the uh, open house, historical house tours down here in Richmond that I was gonna go shoot and do all, that's all out the window. So, uh, huh. yeah, we'll see what the weekend has in store. about this guy he's struggling a bit this is my first time he's working that horsepower look at that skill ladies and gentlemen a round of applause and that one lost the Kung Fu grip, but he survived. <laughs> Thank you.
Jess, look. Can you, can you go get my dad? Can you get him to give me back my stick? I need my stick. No, no, Jasper, don't, don't. Do Let it. Me. I need it. You don't need no, it to survive. Good. My name's Cyberdoc. I'm not even wearing any pants.